Sunday so the verse uh, that we just did then is saying that um, ha please bless me to uh, perfect, to uh, complete the perfection of meditative concentration uh, by having gotten rid of the faults of uh, dullness and agitation, which are distractions that, that cause one to lose one's uh, meditative concentration. And uh, here, this is specifically referring to development of the shamatha, or uh, calm abiding, um, tr tranquil form of meditation, which is uh, single-pointedly focused on the uh, way things are, the uh, ultimate nature of things, which is the fact that all phenomena are devoid of being real in the way that they, they don't exist in the way they appear. So uh, bless me to be able to, by means of the meditative concentration, which is uh, single-pointedly uh, set in single-pointed equipoise or uh, absorption in that nature of reality, uh, that bless me to be able to perfect then the uh, perfection of um, meditative concentration. Oh yeah, that is so the next two verses then explain the way in which one uh, does this uh, meditation on emptiness by means of the uh, meditation which is like space uh, within the process within uh, meditative absorption as such and then after one has risen out of meditative absorption one views everything as like uh, magical illusions and uh, so the two verses here explain that um, by means of the wisdom that understands that investigates uh, reality and uh, con connected with the great bliss which is the um, the uh, flexibility or pliancy which is drawn uh, drawn forth by that wisdom um, uh, please uh, bless and empower me to perfect the uh, to complete the perfection of wisdom by means of the uh, yoga, of, which is like space, the uh, ul the um, meditative absorption on the ultimate, and then the next verse says um, that uh, <clears throat> that um, having understood that the way in which uh, all phenomena, uh, th the the uh, internal and external phenomena are like uh, magical illusions, like dreams, like the uh, image of, a, of the moon which is reflected within a clear uh, pool of water. Uh, although they appear, they're, without, uh, they're unreal. They don't exist in the way they appear. Having understood that, uh, please bless me to be able to, uh, empower me to be able to perfect the, um, the meditative concentration which is like a magical illusion. Oh, yeah, that's the kind of thing. 
听见说说多被吓着了，就常被心上担心、烫着哇。听到娘想那个，那就来，伢那些人怕去做哇，听见了，听见谁干了，他就狂怒。俺呢，告诉人，新年给没把，俺呢太困难了，没被新年出现呢，新年出呢，俺呢。三五当半年了，没没比新年体验好呢。当半年了，没比安尼哦，太快太快了，没比新年体验好呢。安尼让给没把太快了年了，太快了年嘛，当半年了，安尼啊，说说到比现在就简单。安尼再多给，得安尼再多给长辈，安尼女生们心脏给得来，那么先把体检呢，安尼体检上吧。啊，山东他妈他妈的，俺那西拉村子他妈他妈就过来。院长，我听院长，听你说说多遍，现在去长白新疆那边探查哇，俺那团长娘家那个那就拉谁干了？干啥？俺那哦，电电报局啊，干啥么子？俺那没干的啦，俺那娘们就别娘家，团长娘家那个那就去，俺那现在派去做我亲戚了，不是？ So this verse then uh, here where it says in the beginning at the beginning of the verse that the uh, wisdom that investigates reality uh, reality here or sometimes it's called suchness uh, reality is referring again to the emptiness uh, which is the object that one has developed uh, single pointed concentration with respect to uh, already th when one has cultivated shamatha and uh, so that same object uh, now is it, when it's conveyed into the process of developing insight, then one investigates the nature of that object, uh, emptiness, reality, uh, suchness. Um, and by doing that investigation and analysis of it, then uh, out of that, uh, as a uh, outflow of that investigation, uh, comes a special kind of, of pliancy of body and mind, uh, which is uh, characterized by great bliss. So those two, uh, that, that uh, connected. And uh, once, once one has developed that special kind of pliancy of body and mind, workability of body and mind, then uh, one has achieved the, um, the, the initial level of uh, uh, insight, which is uh, based upon uh, shamatha. Uh, so, so that arises. And then it says, uh, um, that it says, um, please bless me to be able to complete the perfection of wisdom uh, by means of the yoga, which is like space uh, and which is uh, in meditative equipoise on the ultimate. Uh, that again is referring to uh, when, one, when, when, when one has done that kind of investigation or analysis of uh, the nature of reality emptiness, then out of that uh, arises uh, a, an elimination of the object of negation, such that uh, this uh, emptiness appears like space, such that it is uh, a mere negation, uh, a simple negation. Oh, yeah. Jimmy 嗯，前两天呢，就我们老人家他们说，那那那样的嘛，没被处的呢，就没定定做吧，清洁肉，不是一个，但那种就没得不吃吧，那外头了，嗯。Then the next verse explains how one does the meditation, and such that things appear, when they're appearing, they appear as empty, and when one understands that in that post-meditative stage, the when one has arisen out of uh, meditative absorption on emptiness, things, all external and internal phenomena appear, uh, and they appear as if they were real, but by having understood, ascertained that they're empty of having that kind of reality, that uh, the sort of quality of being real that we falsely ascribe to them, that is, we falsely ascribe intrinsic existence to things, 
And so the fact that they, uh, one knows that they don't have that uh, nature of being intrinsically existent. Therefore, when one, uh, when they appear to one, they appear as if they're real, but uh, they, you know that they're not real. So therefore, you have a kind of conjunction, a uh, combination of the appearance and emptiness. Uh, and uh, again, that when things appear, they appear as if they're real, but you know they're empty. Uh, when you think of how they're empty, uh, you understand that nevertheless they appear. So the two are not in uh, any kind of conflict, but appear uh, they operate in a coordinated fashion. So therefore it says here, um, please uh, bless and empower me to be able to complete the meditative concentration, which is like a magical illusion where things appear, but the, one knows that they're empty of being real, uh, existing intrinsically in the way they appear. And uh, so it says the inner and outer phenomena, uh, understanding them that they are, although they appear, they're uh, having understood that they're without that kind of uh, reality that we falsely ascribe to them, uh, then be able to understand that they're like um, uh, magical illusions, like dreams, like uh, the, the image of a, of a moon that appears in a, a lake, uh, when uh, magical illusions appear, uh, like for example, horses and elephants that have been conjured up by a magician based on uh, uh, so some uh, underlying substance that they've uh, worked a spell on, then they appear like they're real horses and real elephants, but they don't, uh, they're not actual horses and elephants, so therefore they're illusory in that respect. And the same thing with dreams, uh, the objects in dreams, appear to us like they're actual people or whatever, but we know when we wake up from the dream that they're not, they're not actual people, uh, they're just these dream uh, images. And then likewise with the moon, uh, if you see a moon, reflection of the moon in a lake, a calm lake, uh, it can appear as if it's the actual moon, but when you investigate it, you know that it's not an actual moon. So in, in just like that, these outer, inner and outer phenomena appear as if they're real, but by having understood that they're devoid of that kind of uh, false uh, sense of reality that we ascribe to them, then they appear uh, like magical illusions in this post-meditative uh, med meditative concentration. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Right? Semjanala any uh, then uh, each of the, so the, the, that enumerates then the uh, six perfections. 
and uh, and each of the six perfections then is uh, qualified uh, by a different uh, six different uh, properties or characteristics, and uh, these, so each of them when we go through them uh, has is characterized by these different uh, qualities or properties, and uh, the first of the the first is that um, they have a, a uh, or, or I'm sorry six different sort of um, noble uh, characteristics that they have uh, the best of uh, certain characteristics. And so the first of these is that um, the uh, basis is noble, uh, the, the foundation of it is noble. Then, then, damba, then, damba. Then, damba, shanju, gisam, la, damba, as. Because they, huh? because they, they depend upon bodhicitta. So the foundation of them is uh, excellent or the best because uh, bodhicitta is the, the basis for them. Oh, then, oh, damba, rang, rang, gi, ane, jimba, la, so, wa, jinji, oh, damba. Then the uh, the sort of uh, the basic uh, <laughs> substance of the um, uh, the perfection is is excellent because uh, it, it, the, uh, the the thing that is used within that perfection is is excellent. Um, so in the case of um, generosity and so forth. The the uh, things that one gives are are most excellent. Then the uh, the purpose for which one does the, the perfection is also excellent, uh, most uh, most excellent, <coughs> because um, uh, here the purpose is to bestow upon sentient beings to uh, bestow upon them both uh, temporary and ultimate forms of happiness, all the forms of happiness and well-being that uh, for even temporary, per uh, temporary sorts of happiness and well-being as well as the ultimate form of uh, happiness and well-being. Oh, yeah. Then, then the method uh, is the noble method or best method uh, aspect of this is that the perfections are all uh, governed by the gnosis which uh, understands emptiness uh, without, without conceptualization, non-conceptual gnosis that knows emptiness or uh, if one has not developed that yet, uh, an understanding of emptiness. Oh, yeah. Then you know what? Taro de Chimba, Tubore, Rara, Yamsona, Begaza, De, Anne, or Chedisha was San Jenji Tendu, Anne to a Janto Babu, Juno, Atela, Anne, or Tamba. Then it has, they have the, also the best kind of dedication because. Uh, they're all of the actions that one is performing within the six practice of the six perfections is dedicated towards uh, the uh, achievement of uh, Buddhahood by oneself and all of the sentient beings. And then they're, they have the best kind of uh, liberation as well because uh, they're uh, they're, they're, create, they're done in order to achieve uh, liberation from not only the mental affliction, the obs obscurations that are mental afflictions, but also the obscurations that prevent omniscience. Oh, yeah. Then the 
啊，天门以前给三百一把，剩这九把，哦，一我天天给那么多钱拿嘛这把，剩这九把的，俺那金把给，俺那金币三点，金币可是没什没没把多把，现现在的，俺那金币现在便宜些一个了，但得拿些钱呢，把钱现在呀，咱家就咱把，俺那金把两手能别讲了，呀，把钱出点的两手能把。So then, uh, with the, the six perfections, then when we uh, when they're practiced, they're done with uh, characterized by those uh, different uh, sort of qualities of nobility <laughs> or superiority, uh, and uh, in that way, or uh, one can talk in terms of the uh, six perfections uh, that are fulfilling. They they fulfill the other, all six of the perfections. Each of the perfections fulfills all six of the perfections in that, for example, with um, generosity, there's the generosity of generosity itself, the uh, giving uh, as such. And then there's uh, the generosity, uh, the, the ethical discipline of generosity, where one is uh, performing generosity governed by ethical discipline. Uh, and then there's the um, uh, forbearance of, ge of generosity in which one uh, d is not discouraged by hardship that one under, under, uh, encounters when practicing generosity. Um, and then there's uh, the meditative, uh, the, the uh, uh, effort, effort uh, the effort of generosity, which is when one uh, is uh, in practicing generosity, one uh, exerts effort to do it, uh, again, uh, in spite of uh, difficulty or whatever one encounters. And then meditative concentration of generosity, which uh, uh, is when one um, uh, does so in a kind of single point of fashion using meditative concentration. And then the wisdom of generosity would be when uh, one does uh, perform as an act of generosity, uh, understanding the nature of it, such that one, uh, th th that the act of generosity and the entire uh, process of generosity is governed by the wisdom that understands the reality of things, that they're empty of intrinsic existence. And so in that way, each of the six perfections can be uh, Explain such that it, it subsumes the other five or all six of them in, in a single one. Oh, yeah. 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 Chinese Quand 南面多比些了光把了电呢,安呢大都真比些了,大都真比真把帮呢,得帮别了电呢,安呢,啥叫你人不均一切不跟安的托吧,安呢安的的,安呢卡索了干没多,卡索干没多安呢,卡索卡索
Uh, the, the fact that uh, samsara and nirvana are div without even a single particle or atom of intrinsic existence, and the fact that, um, that uh, the causality of dependent origination is incontrovertible, is, uh, is, is something that is undeniable or incontrovertible. Those two, um, they, they don't, uh, they're not contrary to one another, rather they appear as uh, assistance to each other. They assist each other. So these first lines of this verse, um, to explain them a little, uh, here samsara uh, refers again to the um, aggregates which have been taken up by um, the, uh, through, the by, through the force of uh, mental affliction and uh, karma, contaminated karma. And within the mental afflictions, then the, root of, the f primary mental affliction is the misapprehension of the self. Uh, through the force of that misapprehension of the self, one uh, and other that and other mental afflictions arise. And then uh, from those mental afflictions, one uh, creates karma. And uh, that karma is, uh, it places uh, sort of stains or, or places imprints within the stream of our uh, minds. And uh, the, those imprints uh, eventually will function so as to ripen, uh, to manifest with, as uh, f subsequent instances of the uh, aggregates, which, the cont aggregates which are contaminated. And so that causality um, is incontrovertible, um, is something that cannot be uh, denied. And then likewise, on the other side, um, the, the fact that if, if one understands uh, the, the contrary of the misapprehension of the self, that is, if one understands that the self is uh, devoid of even, a, uh, of even a single atom of intrinsic existence, or that, uh, that no phenomenon whatsoever possesses intrinsic existence, then that uh, recognition, ascertainment of, uh, of impiness or the absence of intrinsic existence serves as the antidote to the misapprehension of the self. And by cutting off, severing the continuity of the misapprehension of the self, then the causality that derives from that, the production of contaminated karma, the, uh, the uh, rebirth within samsara and so forth are also severed. So therefore, this verse says that um, it, one has to see that, that both the absence of an intrinsic existence, that is, the, that there's not a single particle of intrinsic existence within samsara and nirvana, uh, and that at the same time, that samsara and nirvana are governed by the causality of dependent origination. And those two are incontrovertible, meaning that they cannot be, uh, there's no way to uh, deny them if, if one understands them properly. And so once one sees that those two are um, not contradictory, they don't contradict each other, but rather they arise as uh, assistance to one another. Yes, oh yeah. Yeah. Quando Tendinjawachumani, Anitanzimaribagatuzamba, 
Toda la tenés que ir a ti que cuando viene para tu ser So then here it again says that it refers to the some causality of samsara as well as the uh, causality of nirvana, uh, the, that which transcends samsara. With regard to the causality of uh, samsara, this is explained that, again, that the, um, uh, the samsara, which is the contaminated aggregates, aggregates which are taken up through the force of contaminated karma and mental affliction, these have as their root of primary cause this misapprehension of the self. And so uh, when one uh, understands that that misapprehension of the self is not, uh, is not apprehending the self correctly, that is, it uh, apprehends it as if it existed intrinsically or by means of its own uh, in intrinsic character, uh, when in fact it doesn't have that kind of intrinsic character at all. Uh, so uh, therefore, that, uh, that ignorance, which is the root of samsara, the misapprehension of the self, uh, is the, the antidote to that is the, uh, uh, the apprehension of the contrary of the misapprehension of the self, which is recognition of its emptiness or lack of intrinsic existence. So uh, here then, this is uh, e expressed similarly in the uh, 400 verses of uh, Aryadeva, where he says that just as um, the, uh, all of the various sense faculties in the body are dependent upon the basic uh, sense power of the body, um, that is like vision and so forth, are kind of sensory faculties that are derivatives of the fundamental uh, bodily uh, sense, sense faculty. Um, so, is, so it is that um, confusion uh, is the, the root of all the others. Here, all the others is referring to uh, the, um, uh, all of the other mental afflictions that arise out of this basic confusion which misapprehends the self. So here then, uh, uh, so therefore, uh, by destroying that one, that is destroying that confusion, uh, here confusion is another name for the ignorance which misapprehends the self, uh, that kind of confusion, then all of the others are destroyed. Um, just like if you destroy the basic uh, power of the body to have sensory experience, then all of the other sense faculties uh, are uh, dissipate or won't function. So uh, just like that, then uh, the, the, here destruction of the confusion, misapprehension of the self uh, makes it impossible for the rest of the mental afflictions to arise. And therefore, um, and the verse continues by saying, uh, therefore, uh, 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 Therefore, and the verse continue, verses continue that, therefore, uh, the, by uh, understanding dependent origination, one is able to uh, destroy that basic confusion. And uh, w what that indicates is that through understanding empty, uh, dependent origination and the sense of emptiness, that uh, then the, uh, that basic confusion is, is in, there's some initial level of reduction of it um, gradually over time uh, by conditioning oneself to understanding de dependent origination then that basic confusion uh, gradually lessens in its uh, power to control us, and over time, it, it eventually can be eliminated entirely. Oh, yeah. That's so, 
Ochitara, Shindu, Anne, or Lua Meba, Tabatang. All the Joshi being Anne, Anne, Nishi, you did not go in Jenas. Anne rushing to Truva, Nishi, rushing to Truva, Sibi, Anne, ah, Tigit, Zendang, rushing to Truva. The Kishana, oh, Quanda, Kashi, Quanda, Tan, or Tamja, you do then, maybe Tesso, Kayuki, but maybe Tesso, Kayuki, she was, that's about a machine, maybe Tesso, Kayuki, she was, and Anne. So that's this uh, what is said here is uh, has the same intent as what we find in the three principal aspects of the path which uh, it says that when one understands that uh, the causality of uh, karma, of uh, samsara and, uh, and uh, nirvana, that is all phenomena are, are governed by dependent origination, that uh, once one ascertains that, understands that, that uh, the dependent origination of uh, the phenomena of samsara as well as the phenomena of nirvana uh, that, that dependent origination is incontrovertible. Here, incontrovertible means uh, it's uh, demonstrable, logically, dem uh, rationally demonstrable. Uh, then, once one understands that, then one uh, completely destroys the, uh, the object which is uh, falsely uh, constructed and imagined, created by the ignorance which misapprehends things as being intrinsically existent, uh, which uh, projects a kind of re a real uh, character to things which they don't actually possess. And so that, uh, that sort of, once one has uh, d determined through understanding the dependent origination of samsara and nirvana and the incontrovertibility of that dependent origination, then one uh, destroys entirely the, uh, the appearance of uh, the intrinsic existence, which is the focal point for the uh, in the the uh, the object which is uh, imagined to exist by the ignorance which misapprehends things, then uh, then one uh, the verse continues by saying that then one has uh, entered into the path which uh, one one has completed one's investigation of the view. Uh, 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 oh. So and one has uh, entered the path which pleases the Buddhas. Oh yeah, that is done. Tachibacha, it comes out of the same meaning uh, of another verse where it says that um, when one is able to establish, uh, posit uh, properly the uh, way in which uh, some, all phenomena of uh, samsara and nirvana exist such that they arise through dependent origination and at the same time they don't possess even a single um, particle of intrinsic existence. So that is, uh, one is able to establish the dependent origination, their causality of uh, things in uh, samsaric things as well as uh, the f events of nirvana, uh, the uh, causality of nirvana. One's able to establish that causality, the, that dependent origination. At the same time, without uh, losing all that, um, one's able to establish that things are completely devoid of any kind of intrinsic existence. Then, uh, one, uh, when one's able to do that, then that will uh, eradicate the um, misconception. Th this is referring to the subtle uh, aspect of dependent origination in that w when one understands that it entails necessarily uh, emptiness, that the two are not in any kind of tension or conflict, but in fact exist harmoniously. So 
when one uh, has that kind of um, understanding of the two so that they're not uh, alternating, that uh, dependent origination is not one thing and emptiness is another, but that they appear, they arise simultaneously, then one has, uh, one is able to, uh, by means of that, to eliminate the um, object which appears to ignorance. The object that appears to ignorance is uh, sort of uh, uh, intrinsic existence, which in fact doesn't exist in any way whatsoever, but as a sort of fictitious uh, um, imaginary product of ignorance, it uh, appears. So that ignorance uh, is contra counter counteracted through recognition of the uh, dependent origination and emptiness character of everything. And then so that uh, if one does that in that way, one also has uh, completed the method, the uh, path of, or, or the, completed the investigation of the view. Tomorrow,那把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他把他
So, so then uh, the rest of that verse says that, um, the, the, the whole verse as a total says that, uh, then uh, by the ki- out of the kindness of uh, a, 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 vajra, uh, a pilot who holds the Vajra, or a, sh- a helmsman who holds the Vajra, meaning a Vajra master, um, and having uh, crossed over the current of the ocean of Tantras, and uh, please uh, bless and empower me to be able to uh, maintain, uh, to hold my my precepts, uh, the hold the um, pledges and vows, which are the root of all uh, attainments. More, hold them more dear uh, than my life. That uh, completes that verse. Then uh, the next verse says, um, uh, "Please uh, empower and bless me." to be able to, um, by means of the yoga of the first stage, uh, the, uh, the first stage which uh, transforms uh, birth, uh, death, and the intermediate state into the body, the three bodies of the victors or the Buddhas, uh, by means of that, um, I com- allow me, uh, empower me to completely purify all of the uh, stains of misapprehending, misapprehending uh, appearances of things as being ordinary, having empowered me to do that, then uh, please empower me such that whatever appears, appears as the body of the deity. Um, So here this verse is referring then to the way in which um, there there are two aspects or two parts of the uh, Vajrayana uh, path uh, of the Anutra Yoga Tantra, uh, uh, Yoga Nirutra Tantra class, the uh, unexcelled Yoga Tantra class. And there's the, uh, first the, Generation, pa- uh, generation um, stage, which uh, which ripens one's m- mental continuum. Then there's the completion stage, which uh, which uh, 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 which uh, produces the actual liberation uh, of of, uh, of that aspect of uh, the of um, the uh, completion stage. And so the way this works is on the initial level is that uh, here ordinary people experience, um, they experience death, uh, birth into the bardo, and then rebirth into a subsequent form of existence. And uh, just uh, an- analogous to the way that uh, death, intermediate state, and rebirth occur for ordinary people within the um, practice of the unexcelled yoga tantra class of Vajrayana, one takes those, uh, those three states of death, um, in- intermediate state, and rebirth uh, into the path so that one uh, takes the kind of uh, uh, what happens at, during the ordinary death process and through transformation of it, um, makes it into the uh, dharmakaya of a Buddha 
And then likewise, the intermediate state uh, of an ordinary person is uh, analogous to the way in which one, tra or the, the experience that one has in the intermediate state are analogous to how one transforms that into the uh, Sambhogakaya, or enjoyment body of a Buddha. And then likewise, uh, rebirth is analogous to, uh, uh, or re rebirth for ordinary people is, um, is taken and, and brought into the path such that one arises in the form of the Nirmanakaya, or emanation body of a Buddha. So these three uh, states, three periods of time within ordinary experience are uh, brought into the path and, uh, and made into the, the uh, three uh, kayas or embodiments of Buddhahood. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. And so here it says then that uh, uh, by means of that yoga, which the, the initial uh, yoga, which is the a stage of transforming uh, the uh, birth, here it's listed as birth, uh, death, and intermediate state, but uh, one can do it as far as death, uh, uh, intermediate state, and birth as well, uh, that those three phases are transformed into the three kayas. Uh, by means of that yoga, uh, may I, uh, um, I purify entirely the uh, stains of um, cl misapprehending appearances as being ordinary. Here, uh, at the initial phase of the generation stage practice, um, things appear as or just or in their ordinary aspect. But uh, so, so when one is doing the practice here, and is uh, visualizing oneself as a deity and the mandala as the environment, then uh, one is simply doing that through imagination and a kind of, through a sort of aspirational form. Uh, at the beginning, one just is, is uh, uh, it, it, imagining that that is the way it is. It's, uh, but through the continued practice of this over uh, a, a, pro a, a continuous process, then one gradually um, um, purifies oneself of seeing things in the, the, the way in which they ordinarily appear and replaces that with uh, a, a uh, vision in which uh, all, everything appears as uh, the body of the deity, oneself as the deity and the mandala as the environment, uh, uh, um, environment that one is inhabiting. So that's something that at the end of the generation uh, stage practice one accomplishes. Oh yeah, that did Kirin <laughs> Come <laughs> 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 Isu 
on a tile tramo comba. When you shall go by legend, Pajati, in Jerry, tile tramo comba. Tile catamo gomne, gomba la tene, and it loom on my shoe natives in Chavaja and Gorova. And the Anishu Bitala, Anni Nabuniki to watch his own to Yawa. Never tell Nabuniki to watch Cheva. Nunca to watch Cheva. Anni Timbitala. Ani chungshi tim bita de ma cha ge are. Chungshi chungshi tim sa chu men lu chu wai so here then that, that is a brief um, um, reference uh, overview of the basic features of the generation stage. Then uh, comes the uh, completion stage and uh, th this is expressed in the next verse where it says that um uh, please uh, bless me to actualize in this, to make, uh, to actualize in this life, um, the uh, path which en engages in, which, uh, I'm sorry, the path that integrates uh, luminosity in the illusory body. Uh, and uh, the beginning of that verse then says that um, uh, the, the, the integration or the integration of luminosity in the illusory body arises from placing the, uh, here it says literally the toenails of you, O protector. Uh, that, that, that is a metaphorical reference for uh, the subtle, uh, subtle drop uh, and uh, subtle drops. And uh, so that, that's in, the, in, in those uh, subtle drops exist in the center of the duti. Uh, Duti is a name for the uh, central channel, uh, which has eight uh, petals, uh, that, or the chakra at the heart, which has eight uh, petals uh, branching off from it. Uh, those nadis are channels that branch off from it. So um, in the center of that, uh, that eight uh, petaled um, lotus or, or, or wheel uh, at the heart, then um, by placing th those, uh, by having those, um, the, through the array of those uh, five drops uh, that are the uh, toenails of the, the you, O protector, the guru, uh, then by meditating on that properly, may I, uh, in this very life, please empower me to um, uh, actualize this uh, path which integrates the uh, luminosity and the illusory body. So that, that's in reference then to the uh, completion stage practices in which one uh, causes the wind uh, in the body to enter into the uh, subtle drops of, that exist within uh, la drop chick. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, so then uh, this, uh, uh, the, the drop that's at the center, center of uh, one's uh, central channel. And uh, through um, focusing on that, and causing the winds uh, that flow throughout the, one's body to, uh, first of all, enter into that drop, and then they remain in that drop, and then they uh, dissolve within that drop. And so through that, um, that practice, then uh, there are different uh, stages of, uh, you ob observe the uh, flow of the respiration, and uh, initially the respiration becomes uh, La gendi subche subche mason di cosa di cosa the, uh, the r flow of respiration through one's nostrils becomes equalized. That is, uh, there's no uh, variation in the uh, force that it's uh, going in and out uh, uh, with. Oh. And the second uh, sign, when, when it's, uh, that's the first is entering, then when it remains, uh, the wind is remaining there, then uh, the, the uh, respiration, uh, visible sign of respiration through one's uh, nostrils is stopped. Oh, yeah. Then it's in it. 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 Then it's in it.
So, so then after that, there arise uh, various signs uh, that is like, there's the si first sign is like, um, the, 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 uh, like a, like a, um, uh, a mirage. And then there are uh, the signs of the dissolution of the four elements, uh, one into the other. So then uh, after these various signs of the dissolution of the elements arise, uh, there are different phases of this process. Uh, here, we're doing it through the force of uh, meditation or uh, cultivation, and one's causing these uh, visions as as the elements dissolve one into the other. And then uh, finally, there's the uh, dissolution of the uh, three phases of uh, of um, light, which occur uh, at, at the three stages approaching the uh, actual luminosity. Uh, or, or the uh, approaching luminosity, that where uh, first you have the um, appear, uh, the uh, appearance of light, the uh, increase of light, and the uh, approach to light. Or, uh, those three phases, um, which we mentioned previously, uh, this is uh, this is again sometimes those are translated as appearance, increase of appearance, and uh, pro. pro uh, near attainment, near attainment, yeah. Those, oh, yeah. It translated that way. Uh, so, so anyway, at that time, then, through here, through this meditation, uh, then the uh, luminosity itself appears, but um, the luminosity in this case, uh, at the initial phase, is not the um, actual uh, luminosity, but is uh, here one is uh, developing meditation, uh, meditation such that one can understand uh, emptiness. Um, in the initial phase of this, again, as we mentioned previously, there's the metaphorical luminosity. Here, this is referring to that um, constant mind of conate luminosity, which has now been, through the practice of the path, uh, directed to understand emptiness. Initially, that mind uh, understands emptiness via the, with, with conceptualization or with, uh, an underst uh, with, with through the medium of uh, 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 mental construction, one can say. And so therefore, there's still a um, sort of a conceptual image or uh, that, that intervenes between emptiness as such. And that uh, constant mind of Kony luminosity is the cognizing subject. So at the initial phase, then it's given the name of the metaphorical clear light or metaphorical luminosity. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dejela 
Ani pei yue sa, semen pei yue sa te ge, yue sa te ta ma ta pe tu liu ki, ane ta kar so re, ti shu bi lung ki nye lian dang, an sem de ki, shen ji che jian chan ni, ane ma ta pe tu liu tu che ki, ta ma yue la, ta ma wa la, chi wa yue sa ki sem de ta ti lung te ugu ni ki, pa tu tu che che pa na xin chan ni, wo te chi yue yin zang, wo ten ta di, ying ki ta pe tu di yue ta tu, ane, so, so here then in the verse it says that um, this path which um, which engages, which uh, which integrates uh, luminosity in the illusory body. Um, here then, this is uh, a, a reference to the completion process practices or completion stage practices where um, here, uh, again, just as w during the, uh, the course of ordinary death process, the death process as it occurs for ordinary p people, human beings in particular, or a beings that have six, the six elements that uh, s serve as a support for this kind of death process. Then uh, the, what's happening is that the, the energy wind that pervades the body is uh, being absorbed into the uh, central channel and uh, specifically into the drop that exists, the indestructible drop which resides at the heart. And uh, there's, uh, within that indestructible drop, there's a combination of an extremely subtle form of uh, the wind as well as the extremely subtle mind. Uh, those two are fused together uh, within that drop. And so when, when these winds enter into that, uh, in the ordinary death process, then we have the vision of the different uh, stages of the dissolution of the elements and so forth, the appearance of those three uh, visions that are, are on the approach to death, where uh, we see this, uh, the three visions of uh, white, uh, red, and, and dark darkness, and then the dawning of the actual luminosity itself. Well, uh, within the context of the path, that same process is replicated, but here it's under in a controlled way through the uh, c uh, practice of yoga, uh, such that by inje uh, causing the, uh, again, the same way the wind that pervades the body, um, causing that to enter into, to remain and to uh, dissolve within that uh, drop at the heart, at the center of one's heart uh, center. Then, uh, then there dawns, uh, again, the same uh, analogous sequence of visions and signs that uh, lead up to finally the, uh, the dawning of this luminosity, which is this uh, constant mind of, of conate luminosity. Here, uh, in, the, in the course of the, in, in the practice of this kind of yoga, then uh, one uh, initially, uh, um, when, when one produces this, one initially produces the, uh, the impure illusory body and uh, the luminosity which is uh, understanding emptiness via the medium of uh, a concept or through the medium of cons uh, thought construction, uh, perhaps more accurately, a thought construction. And uh, so in that case, then, one uh, produces the impure illusory body initially and the uh, metaphorical uh, luminosity or metaphorical clear light first, and then uh, gradually through conditioning oneself to this, uh, developing further, uh, further and further, then the, um, uh, the impure illusory body is purified so that it uh, is transformed into the pure uh, illusory body and then the, uh, the uh, metaphorical clear light or luminosity is transformed into the actual uh, clear light or luminosity which um, is a direct cognition of emptiness. And so ju just as we mentioned previously then, the, that, um, uh, it, that pure illusory body and the, uh, the actual uh, luminosity to cooperate together to pr uh, eventually, uh, through further uh, practice of this yoga, to produce the, um, uh, in the case of the Sambhogakaya, the, um, the wind, uh, a very subtle form of wind, uh, uh, which, which is the material cause that produces the uh, both impure and pure illusory body, serves as the material cause for the Dharmakaya and then the uh, pure, the um, um, actual uh, luminosity is the um, 
uh, cooperative condition that functions to produce that um, Sambhogakaya, as we mentioned previously. So that's that's what's explained here. No. Mata Anita I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Yeah, I, I, I got part of it, but I didn't get all of that. Um, and there's, uh, yeah. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Yeah, uh, I, I got the words. It's the meaning uh, I didn't get. Yeah. Uh, la la gen yanka suna. Oh, ludo gen yeto tova ti chena. Ani tabe julio ko tanga ti nyam che. Tabe julio ko chuba dan ti ne gala niri pamba ti nyam che. Niri pamba pamba dan tabe julio ko ni ani sunju chuba de ti ti tova inza pamba sunju sai tova res. Pamba sunju. So here then, uh, when one actualizes the impure illusory body, that, that is like the, uh, the approach to the, um, uh, the achievement of the um, pure illusory body. And uh, so when one, uh, once one shifts from the approach to that, um, uh, that, that stage of um, realization, which is a, a tantamount to the achievement of the path of seeing via the mantra vehicle uh, through the uh, Vajrayana approach, then when, sh when one shifts from the impure illusory body uh, and from the, uh, the meta metaphorical luminosity into the pure illusory body and the, um, uh, the actual luminosity or actual clear light, then uh, that, that shift is, the, uh, is also called the um, integration, which is the abandonment, because one has abandoned the uh, mental afflictions in the, in the course of uh, producing that, that state. Oh, yeah. Any so, so then uh, once one has actualized that uh, pure illusory body and as well as the actual uh, luminosity or clear light, uh, those two are, are integrated in that they're, they occur together, they function together. And uh, so once one, uh, then through the course of the subsequent portions of the path of mantra there, after one has achieved that level of uh, the path of seeing through the vehicle, the mantra vehicle, then uh, one uh, continues to uh, purify oneself of the, um, uh, th that is called the uh, achievement of the stage of integration while one is still in the process of training initially. And then eventually, uh, over a course of time uh, and continued uh, cultivation of this, then one eventually actualizes the, uh, integra the integration which has is, which is surpassed any kind of training. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh so that uh, then uh, with respect to those two phases of the stage of integration, the uh, first of which is called the abandonment, uh, that refers again to the achievement of this uh, uh, state of integration which is still within the process of training. Then uh, once one actualizes the, uh, the um, uh, non, the uh, integration which is beyond training, that's called the, uh, the actualization of the um, uh, integration, which is realizational uh, or uh, something like that. Uh, uh,
So uh, then, uh, after after that, um, it is explained that uh, if one has not achieved, uh, has has not been able to. Um, uh, so the next verse uh, goes on to say that um, if one has not been able to uh, start this path. Uh, has not to be, been able to actually begin this path, and uh, one uh, approaches the time of death, then by means of the um, forceful method for achieving awakening, uh, that is the uh, tr uh, transference uh, the, uh, of, to, the, to the guru, um, and by, by um, the special instruction, which um, is, enables one to uh, properly apply the five powers, um, please bless and empower me to be able to traverse to a, a pure uh, field, a pure land. And uh, the five powers here are similar to what one finds within the um, mind training uh, corpus of text, the uh, explanation of mind training. Oh, yeah. Kabo so the first, the, yeah, the first of these five powers, it's similar to the five uh, as we enumerated them earlier. That is uh, the uh, employing the five, uh, employing uh, white, uh, virtuous kinds of actions or virtuous dharmas here literally or practices. So for example, as one approaches death, uh, the, uh, the first power would be such, uh, something such as giving away uh, that which you have. Uh, uh, giving away your property, uh, g getting rid of it. Oh, oh, this Kamala ya chashe me ba chae chae. Ani the rana ebe ngwa tamje. Ani yama chupa yama la chini. Ani Kamala ya chashe me ba chae. The kabo sabi jito chae. The je la ani oh chua dang pato chi kisi pato pato ne ga tamje do. So the, the reason we do this, uh, this initial practice of give, getting rid of, giving away uh, everything that one has, all one's wealth and property and so forth, is so as to eliminate uh, attachment to that, uh, that property, which would impede the practice here. Then the, the uh, second is uh, the power of the, um, the impulse, uh, that, that is uh, the, the motive force. Uh, here then one practices uh, the profound path of Guru Yoga, uh, as, as, we've as has been explained. Oh, yeah. So, so then uh, the next is the power of the er eradication, which is uh, by recognition of the emptiness uh, that, that out of uh, one's attachment to self, uh, to, to the misapprehension of the self, uh, one has uh, done various kinds of negative actions, and so uh, one wishes to uh, eliminate those entirely uh, and do that through the uh, recognition of their emptiness that they don't possess any kind of intrinsic existence. Oh, <laughs> And 
<laughs> then is the power of prayer uh, here. Uh, it, when one approaches death, um, it's important to practice uh, this profound path of, uh, of the uh, worship of the guru as ex ex explained in this text and others, and then uh, also to uh, meditate on bodhicitta. Oh, then uh, so the last one is is the uh, power of um, uh, dedication uh, I'm sorry the power of uh, cultivation uh, habituation here uh, that is when one meditates on uh, the, the the two forms of bodhicitta the uh, the conventional and ultimate form of bodhicitta and then uh, so it says through the, through uh, the through the instruction which uh, in, tells one how to properly apply the five powers and the, the, the forceful method for uh, transfer, uh, transference uh, to the guru as, as a method for achieving an awakening. Uh, please empower me, bless me to be able to, um, tr to traverse to a pure, pure land. Oh yeah, that didn't want to share about it again. So to re recall or remind you that, uh, remind us that at the end of each of these uh, sections of the, the text in this portion of the text where, where it says that uh, please bless and empower me to be able to do whatever is mentioned in the verse, then one does the same kind of visualization of the uh, descent of the nectar from the guru at the crown of one's head and that it uh, uh, purifies you of all one's, uh, the obscurations and uh, the negative actions that one has done with respect that serve as obstacles and likewise that it empowers you with the ability to be able to actualize the uh, realization of, uh, of what is mentioned in the verse and think that uh, this is enabling you to accomplish uh, both your own aims as well as the aims of others. Oh, yeah. Then, then the next verse is say, in brief, uh, in all of my lives, in this life and in all of the rest of my lives, uh, may I be in, never separated from you, O protector. Uh, and, and by having you uh, uh, cherish, uh, take care of me, um, and uh, may, may I uh, please bless me to be the chief of your, uh, of your disciples, uh, of your uh, children, uh, who hold all of the uh, secrets of your body, speech, and mind. That's the first verse. And then uh, the next verse is that, um, and uh, please uh, uh, bestow upon me the uh, good fortune that um, <clears throat> in whatever uh, place that you are, you actualize um, perfect awakening, uh, that I may, may I be at the very head of your entourage and uh, that, and, and please uh, uh, bestow upon me the good fortune to be able to accomplish effortlessly, spontaneously, um, all of the uh, temporary and ultimate uh, objectives and things which I desire to accomplish. Oh, yeah. I need that. 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 I Gong 
contrôle. Oui, oui. <laughs> gourmand, gourmand. Yeah. At the very end. Allez, uh, oh, there's, there's a tradition uh, then of doing this first at the very end of the day. Uh, whatever you've done, uh, so throughout the course of the day, whatever you've done, um, you, you include that within Guru Yoga. And then so right before you fall asleep, um, you, you recite this verse so as to, uh, to include everything, all of the practices that you did throughout the course of the day within the uh, profound path of Guru Yoga. Mm -hmm. だ、だ、じゃんでてしょ。あ。あ、いや。あ、いや。だ、しゅうじゃだとじらしてたしょ。あ。いや、いや。だ、こっちちゃこ。あ、いや。这个是我们的 yeah. So uh, then the, the, we're uh, back in uh, the Keotong uh, Zindri, the commentary by uh, Keotong Rinpoche, uh, 164. And it says, uh, thus, uh, having uh, performed the, uh, the uh, complete uh, st stages of the path, uh, doing a, a review, uh, sort of meditation of the entirety of the path, and having uh, requested uh, the empowering blessings from the Guru, uh, then uh, and, and doing the uh, then one does the uh, the recitation of the uh, prayer to the uh, Mahamudra lineage, and uh, then uh, at the end of that, uh, one when as one absorbs the uh, assembly field. Um, in, in t does that as, uh, absorption into the assembly field, and uh, then one thinks that uh, in, in, in accordance with uh, 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 yeah so the, there's a way of doing the one way to do this is uh, then when visualizes again that the entire assembly field um, it, does, it absorbs into the central uh, guru, uh, the, the, which consists of the the uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, four beings, the uh, uh, guru in the form of. Uh, so so when again visualizes the um, the lineage of the ex extensive deeds and the, the lineage of the uh, profound view as well as the lineage of the empowering blessings and then the uh, root and uh, and lineage lamas to the front uh, you imagine you visualize them all uh, in sequence uh, dissolving uh, absorbing back into the uh, central guru uh, who consists of the four beings of uh, Lama Lo Sang Tuan Dorji Chang, uh, the uh, form of uh, Jay Tsong Kappa with um, the uh, Shakyamuni in the form of Munindra and then uh, the um, uh, uh, Vajratahara and, and the uh, uh, Lama Shi, Lama Shi. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm.
So I, I made a mistake in that uh, translation there. You, you think that um, the, uh, those four lineages that surround the central figure, they absorb into the chief uh, of the, f the Lama uh, Guru of those individual lineages, that is, so that you have Maitreya uh, and uh, um, uh, Manjushri and uh, Vajradhara, and then your root Guru uh, in, in front. And, and so you visualize those absorbing into your root guru at the crown of your head, and uh, though that then you think that uh, that root guru uh, absorbs uh, into uh, into yourself and becomes uh, indis indivisible from one's own mind. Oh, yeah. So it says, uh, thus, uh, having uh, completed the, the um, <clears throat> so having, having been led through the stages of engaging oneself uh, in the yoga, the guru yoga, uh, starting off, well, beginning with the going for refuge, uh, engaging in the accumulation of merit, uh, the purification of all negativities, uh, the, this, this guru yoga subsumes all of these stages of the path, uh, which it completes the entire body of the path. And uh, so all of these are the preparatory practices, having been led through those. Then that, le that brings us into the uh, second topic in the, in the uh, outline of this uh, commentary, which is the way in which one maintains the, um, uh, the object, which is uh, to be meditated upon in the, uh, this particular form of meditation, the uh, Mahamudra, the, which is the principal topic here, is the way in which one, um, one uh, maintains the aspect of the, the meditative object here. And we'll, oh, yeah. we'll stop there for today. Sanjay <laughs>